All right, good morning, everybody. This is the First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich. Kind of a interesting setup as we go into the evening hours. We talked about this initially yesterday, and waking up this morning and looking at the latest data, I don't see anything that really has changed my thinking. When you look at the uh, satellite radar and temperatures together, a couple things you notice. Boy, it looks like that big nor'easter, that ocean storm, is just sitting out there. It's not moving anywhere. Back to the west, there's another big low over the uh, Intermountain West, really the Northern Plains, maybe the Northwest Plains. In between, there's a stalled frontal boundary. And if you look closely, you can kind of detect where that stalled front is. You see these clouds setting up, but also notice temperatures. South of the boundary, they're clearly in the 70s. North of the boundary, at 50s and 60s. But when you take a look at the dew points, you get a better idea where that stalled front is. Uh, anywhere you see a dark green, that's a 60 degree dew point or higher. So notice right along or south of the boundary, you've got all these 60 degree dew points, but up in here, uh, you have dew points in the 30s. If we go in really close to the Charlotte metro area, you can actually see it looks like the stalled front is maybe somewhere just north of Charlotte because the dew point in Charlotte is 61, but it's only 55 in Statesville and 53 up here in Winston-Salem with 52 in Greensboro. So we'll take those off briefly. You can see the uh, there's a satellite picture, kind of can tell where our stalled front is. A couple things to note. We'll take a look at the uh, Storm Prediction Center's outlook for today. First thing you notice, the slight risk. We talked about this down below here in my blog. You can see the um, the actual maps. Everywhere in yellow is a slight risk for severe thunderstorms this afternoon. The tornado risk uh, is primarily uh, right along this yellow line, which means there's a 5% probability of a tornado within 25 points of anywhere on the map. Uh, that's somewhat elevated, but not that out of the ordinary for a slight risk. The green means there's a 2% probability. Where you start getting into higher probabilities are severe wind. Severe wind you're looking at right here, anywhere in this dark brown, that's a 30% chance of severe winds. That's 58 mile per hour winds or higher within that area. And then severe hail, also 30%. But within the severe hail area, there's a smaller area right here, this green area. This is the risk for severe large hail. And large hail is considered two inch diameter or larger. We're talking significant probability. There's a 10% chance within this green area there could be two inch diameter or larger. We're talking golf ball to baseball size hail once you start getting in the two to um, you know two and a half inch range. Uh, within that area. And part of the reason we're going to see that is we've got a couple of things going on in the atmosphere today. The first is this is a strong vort max. You see this red here? This is the, a disturbance in the mid-levels of the atmosphere that's going to arrive this evening. But likely even ahead of this we're going to see some some storms develop. As we take a look at the uh, reflectivity, this is, uh, let me look at this right here, this is 8 o'clock tonight. Notice the storms developing up here, and a few actually already developing down across South Carolina. Let's go out uh, two more hours to about, or three more hours, excuse me, to about three uh, or three Z, or what we call 10 p.m. Big cluster of storms moving into the mountains, but we've already got some storms developing in and around the Charlotte area. Some of these could be supercells producing some large hail, and yes, if we get some tall, tall supercells that can get the updrafts rotating, we could see some isolated tornadoes. That's 10 o'clock. Then if you go out uh, to about 1 o'clock in the morning, uh, you could see we've got two lines of storms that have developed. They're coming more uh, oriented, more of a line, and they're moving southeast, so that's 1 o'clock. And then if we go out three more hours, um, you could see by 5 o'clock, um, excuse me, 4 o'clock in the morning, you can see the storms have moved out of here. So that kind of gives you an idea of how things are going to unfold later this afternoon. I really think our primary threat, again, is going to be large hail and damaging winds. But with a stalled front, any of these isolated cells that can form along the front later this afternoon, there is a chance we could get some isolated tornadoes. But again, the primary threat today is going to be damaging winds and large hail and expect things to get going late this afternoon and really the bulk of this will be during your dinner time or slightly after. All the maps are below, some more descriptions on what to expect. Uh, I'll keep you updated online as well as on, on News Channel 36 starting today at 4 o'clock.